What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Hemi Life. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In today's video, as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, we are changing brakes. So I have a 2013 Charger RT all-wheel drive. And we already have these drilled and slotted rotors with ceramic pads on all four corners. As you guys can see. But we are going to be changing them, and I already got this wheel taken off, so we're going to be getting right into the video. These are the new rotors and pads right there. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys, or helping you guys, know how to take off and change your rotors and pads. So it's going to be, for this, the front, it's easier to turn the wheel this side, so you guys have easier access to these bolts for the calipers and that's helpful so once you got that done you're gonna grab a let me get that not for you guys let me grab the size so you for to start off you're gonna grab a size 13 socket to grab to take off the caliper so get your socket get your wrench and just unloosen these cal the, these bolts to get the caliper off so Alright guys, so I got the two bolts off, as you guys can see, got the caliper off, you want to make sure you guys put it somewhere, or you place something down so that this brake line over here doesn't stamp off, so I got it tucked over there, make sure it doesn't fall, and then here, the pads, they should just slide off, I'm going to show you guys real quick, it's going to be just like that when you take off the, the caliper, then you got that and that. So you just slide it right off, just like that. And then to take this off now, so you can get the rotor off, there's two bolts right here, one, and here, two. And that is going to be a size 21. So I got it right here. And I'm using my torque wrench because they're a little tight. So you guys <laughs> might want to use something like this. Just get it in there and loosen them up just like that next one right here already got that one loose and then just take them off so I'm gonna do that real quick alright guys so I got the two bolts taken off this just comes right off just like that you can take your caliper off, or my bad, your rotor. Bring your rotor. And then make sure the new one is the same size. I don't think that's for it. Let's check this one out. Yep, same size. So get this one off the bag. And then. It's ready to get put back on. Let me set the camera up real quick for you guys. So I can show you the next steps. Alright guys. So you just want to fit it into the lug nuts. Just like so. Push it in all the way. And then the next step is going to be just to put this bracket back on. So you're just going to line it up like that. Just get the screws in. I'm sorry, you guys won't be able to see this, so I'll just hold it and do my best. Tighten these screws back up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these back up, and I'll show you guys the next step. Alright guys, I got the two bolts tightened down, and then the next step would be to grab your new rotors. Okay, I keep mixing these up. Grab your new pads, and then other way, just fit the two, see how that got that, I got that, you just fit them in, on both sides, and then just push it in. This rotor is still going to be a little loose until you put the caliper in. Once that's in, that's in. Do it to both sides. Just 
just like that. And the next step would, would be to grab your caliper and put it on. So let's see. I tried to get away with it, but did you guys see that right there? You gotta push those back because when you hit the brakes, obviously they're gonna come forward. So I'm gonna grab my clamp, we're gonna push that back, and then we're gonna put them on. Alright, guys, so I grabbed my old pad, my C clamp. This is how we're gonna do it. Put my rotor. My pad, God, I keep saying it. Let me open up the sequence though. Alright, so that. Open it up some more. And then you're gonna tighten it down so you can push those back. All right, guys, so we pushed it back. We got the caliper on. And now it's time to tighten it. We grab these, oops. Uh, just get them in there. Is it going in? I think it's going in. No, it's not going in. So I got the two screws on, just tighten them up this time and then we'll be done in a second. All right guys, so we got everything situated. Brakes nice, but I just wanna say, grab some brake cleaner and wipe it down. I'm gonna do that when I'm done with the other side. And basically that's it, we're done with this side over here. I already pumped the brakes so the, so the new rotors can get pushed in, I guess, I don't know. But that's the way you're supposed to do it. And then, yeah. So we got this side over here. We turn the wheel to this side now so we can do the same thing. So yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so we just got this side done as you guys can see. And I actually ran out of the brake cleaner so I'm about to head to AutoZone, grab some, and we're gonna move on to the rear. So 
I'll see you guys at AutoZone. Alright guys, so that's going to be the front and honestly the rear is just the same. I don't want to bore you guys with the, with the, with the same thing so that's how they look. Just show you guys and yeah these are the old ones compared to the new ones. And that's how they look. I hope you guys did enjoy the video because that is going to be a wrap. That's how you guys change the brakes. Basically, four bolts holding onto that caliper in the bracket. And yeah, this camera is about to die, so perfect timing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys slap that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And turn on your post notification bell so you guys know when my next upload is. It's been your, it's been your boy Hemi Life. Peace out.